Kafka prolactam is an organic compound with the formula 5 C, O, N, H. This colorless solid is a lactam, a cyclic amide, of caproic acid. Approximately 4.5 billion kilograms are produced annually. Caprolactam is the precursor to nylon 6, a widely used synthetic polymer. Synthesis and production Caprolactam was first described in the late 1800s when it was prepared by the cyclization of I micron amino caproic acid, the product of the hydrolysis of caprolactam. Given the commercial significance of nylon 6, Many methods have been developed for the production of caprolactam. Most of the caprolactam is synthesized from cyclohexanin, which is first converted to its oxime. Treatment of this oxime with acid induces the Beckman rearrangement to give caprolactam. The immediate product of the acid-induced rearrangement is the bisulfate salt of caprolactam. This salt is neutralized with ammonia to release the free lactam and cogenerate ammonium sulfate. In optimizing the industrial practices, much attention is directed toward minimizing the production of ammonium salts. The other major industrial route involves formation of the oxime from cyclohexane using nitrosyl chloride. The advantage of this method is that cyclohexane is less expensive than cyclohexanin. In earlier times, caprolactam was prepared by treatment of caprolactone with ammonia. Uses Almost all caprolactam produced goes into the manufacture of nylon 6. The conversion entails a ring opening polymerization, N5C, O, NH, CH2, 5C, O, NHN. Nylon 6 is widely used in fibers and plastics. In situ anionic polymerization is employed for cast nylon production where conversion from I micron caprolactam to nylon 6 takes place inside a mold. In conjunction with endless fiber processing the term thermoplastic resin transfer molding is often used. Safety Caprolactam is an irritant and is mildly toxic, with an LD50 of 1.1 grams per kilogram. In 1991, it was included on the list of hazardous air pollutants by the U.S. Clean Air Act of 1990. It was subsequently removed from the list in 1996. In water, Caprolactam hydrolyzes to aminocaproic acid, which is used medicinally. As of 2014 caprolactam had the unusual status of being the only chemical in the International Agency for Research on Cancer's lowest hazard category, Group 4 probably not carcinogenic to humans. Currently, there is no official permissible exposure limit set for workers handling caprolactam in the United States. The recommended exposure limit is set at 1 mg per meter 3 over an 8-hour work shift for caprolactam dusts and vapors. The short-term exposure limit is set at 3 mg per meter 3 for caprolactam dusts and vapors. References <laughs>